Hi, welcome to my video on cricket scoreboard. Many of the times my friends have told me to give them some kind of solution to play a T20 match because they keep playing in their offices, they organize matches and they also organize matches in various schools. Just to look after their requirement I had created this Excel workbook. This workbook contains many tabs. First of all, to give you the orientation of the tabs, the first tab will need input from you in terms of team names and the names of the team members. Second tab, when team A starts batting, then you need to fill this sheet. After you fill this, automatically team A batting summary will be available to you and team B bowling summary will also be available to you. Then there is another tab which will show you the runs scored by both the teams in form of a chart. So as the runs progress, their progress will be reflected over here. Next three tabs are related to batting by team B. This sheet you need to fill and this team B batting summary and team A bowling summary will be automatically populated. The last tab will contain operating instructions for this whole workbook. We now come back to the first sheet and start understanding how it goes. Now when you start, when you want to start a new match, you just need to press this button. This button has been provided to you to clear all the data that was filled in this sheet earlier. So now I come here, all this data was filled up, team A batting, team B batting, everything suppose was filled up over here. by pressing this button uh, we see that it will start refreshing everything all the data will get deleted automatically from all the sheets and you are ready to go with a new match and automatically it will come to the first cell of the sheet where you now need to fill in data how do we start now uh, it's very clear it's written over there, enter name of team A here. Say we are starting a match between India and Pakistan. So this Indian team, we will fill first India. The members of the team are Virat, uh, Dhoni, and uh, Yuvraj, and A, e and, and B, and C, and D. Team B. As we said, say Pakistan and the members of the team Shahid, Afridi and uh, Muhammad Amir and uh, Umar Akmal and RS. you these are the members of this team we have got a provision of indicating the captain also suppose Virat is captain of team A and Muhammad Amir is captain of team B so we can indicate them here now when you see in the first column the number of players are 15 you must be wondering why it is 15 but it is to cater for extra players also after filling up this, come to overs to be played. The screen cell, you decided to play 18 overs match this time because of some kind of shorter of time or whatever or range. The match number field is given because it might be a tournament that you are playing. So in the tournament, there can be various matches. So this may be a match number five. The date when you want to play this match is month is say March 31st is date in 2017 time 09 00 pm uh, sorry it is am and location is New Delhi this is first sheet now you are filled up we are ready to go for the match now so when the match starts we come to batting by team A See the orientation of this sheet. India versus Pakistan is the match. 
batting is by India and bowling team is Pakistan. Match start time and match start date written over here. Now you can straight away come to this area where it is green. Means now you need to select the betting team for the playing batsman. So say Virat and Dhoni are the openers in this game. This cell is automatically turned green. Why? This over number one is indicated over here. This cell is turned green because you need to select who will ball first. Say Muhammad Amir is going to ball first. Once you select the baller, it will turn red and this area will turn green. This indicates now you need to fill this. This now look at this area. This is ball number 1 to 12. Wondering why 12, not 6? Just to get up no balls, white balls, etc. So we start playing the match now. Virat is the one who will be taking on the first ball and he scores 6. See the changes. Here, every time any run is scored, uh, the balls are updated the runs are updated and wickets are updated this data will continuously remain in front of you because it is to handle so it is to look after the commentator who always has to have this data in front of him so looking at this sheet commentary is also very easy now let me show you what this remarks column is about this remarks column we can enter with uh, different scenarios by leg by no ball no ball run out white ball bold etc etc so here suppose we will leave it blank as of now after scoring six virat played again and now scores four virat plays again scores one now the batting comes strike changes Dhoni is on the batting side now. He scores two runs. Dhoni is in the batting again. Scores four runs and that two on it. No ball. Okay. Interesting thing to note over here. When you have a no ball over here, this ball comes here. Not counted ball. Automatically added by one. The counted balls are only 4 in that case, so counted balls are 4, total balls thrown were 5. And here you can see that scored runs are 17, scored runs means total of the runs, total runs which are in account of any of the batsmen. So extras are not added over here because extras are catered separately. Extra run, extra due to no ball is catered here, that is one run. Due to buy, leg buy, total balls thrown, I already explained some of run in this, so that is some of scored runs as well as extras is here. Wicket so far nil. To give you example of wicket, I will show you Dhoni this time scores 0 and he is clean bold. Okay, when bold comes here, wicket in this over turns. 1, when you see on top, wicket is 1, total runs are updated to 18. This is how the scoring will go. Now, when Dhoni is out, you need to select a third player, but here only Virat and Dhoni are available as of now. You need to change in this cell, remove Dhoni, Dhoni and select Yuvraj. When you do that, now you will be able to select Yuvraj here. Say by chance if you entered somebody else's name, say Gavaskar, you want to enter some other name, this will not accept. Gavaskar, suppose I want to enter this, this will not accept because he is not the one who is playing here. And as such, even if he would have been in the team, he is not out of these two batsmen who are in the field as of now. So we can only enter Virat or Yuvraj here. Yuvraj comes, it's a 6. Now you see, once I enter this 6 run, this area turns pink. Means this 
over is completed now that is also visible over here by counting balls turning to six and this cell turning to green because this is for over two now it is indicating that now you need to enter the ball of over number two now this area turns green indicating now keep entering the score for over number two this is how this will go on now i just wanted to show you one more thing at the uh, down below the first over this area i have already explained when you come here now you see runs scored by these are the individual runs scored by the batsman and you see virat and yuvraj are with green background that means the, these two batsmen are on field as of now and playing dhoni got out because it is with the blue background and the total runs in this over only scored by these batsmen are visible over here and similarly you need to now keep moving towards right side overs will get completed you will keep filling and moving towards the right now you see after over number 18 this area 19 and 20 is black because here you had selected match for only 18 overs fine now we come to this area where summary till now is readily available for anybody to see however we have got a separate tab also for this summary to be visible what all would be available in this summary i'll just explain the total scored runs extra due to no ball or wide extra due to by extra due to led by total balls thrown so far not counted balls and counted balls that are available a few important points total overs played sum of total runs total wickets and average run rate is also available here with this different kind of background there is only current time and uh, here you can see total individual score of any batsman is available over here and there is a facility whoever is the batsman who scored highest runs that would be available over here with red background any batsman who scores more than 50 his score will turn with blue background like this okay now we come to team b bowling summary sheet team b had bowled and here you can see mohammad shahid afridi and mohammad amir and umar akmal these were the bowlers further we had given other names rspu so out of these bowlers only one mohammad amir he gave maximum runs as of now that is 24 and took maximum wickets too that is only one wicket then how you get the summary of bowling so batting summary bowling summary everything is available to you uh, the last thing over here is the chart when you see the chart you need to update it when you updated it only one over we had fed so far so total 24 runs were scored in the first over the line is horizontal as of now because we have filled up only one over had we filled up others this runs would have accumulated and the direction of the line would have been rising now you see this blue line indicates team a runs progress and red line is team b runs progress which is here at zero as of now because team b has not yet started playing when team b starts playing you need to key in here by selecting players out of team b okay and the summary of team b batting will be available to you as it was there in case of team a and summary of team a bowling will be available to you as available earlier for team b and this is how you will keep recording the scores of the match and at the end you can see the final scores in the summary sheets available to you for both the teams I hope uh, this sheet would be useful to my friends who had asked me to work on it and maybe for others who are watching it right now. With that, I thank you very much for watching this video. Enjoy.